Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and the question is, why do we use snapshot replication? First of all, I'll tell you that a snapshot replication is a heart of uh, replication uh, in all other uh, types of replication, which is uh, transactional uh, replication uh, and uh, merge replication. Snapshot replication always happen when initialization uh, of uh, replication happens. So snapshot replication, as far as uh, the mechanism and workflow of uh, replication goes, it happens first. Now, I think that the context of this question is that when do you want to configure snapshot replication rather than uh, transactional or merge replication? So uh, here is the scenario. Uh, let's say that um, your, um, your New York office uh, has a uh, application running in uh, databases over there and all the transaction goes up there uh, but uh, the user uh, runs the report on the latest data next morning so what do you do you take the snapshot of replication and uh, you schedule that snapshot and you provide the existing snapshot to uh, let's say that uh, it's a different state it's uh, iowa where, where your user needs that data next day so snapshot replication uh, is um, does not contain uh, the real-time uh, changes on your uh, 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 publisher so what happened is that uh, whatever the state of your data is it it creates a snapshot and it takes it to the destination which is your subscriber so subscriber get a snapshot copy of that particular data all the articles that's uh, um, that's configured in replication snapshot of uh, the data in those article gets snapshot to our subscriber so that that is one example uh, if the user can handle the latency uh, maybe five hours uh, maybe every night um, you know and they don't require um, real-time data they don't require that uh, if data changes right away we need to know that if they don't require that snapshot replication is the answer i hope it helps